Five Great Quotes for Inspiration and Self-Reflection As dark times seem to envelop everything, it is all too easy to get lost in negativity and sorrow. For those who do not share your best interests, this is all part of the plan, to wear you down and break your faith. Do not give them their victory. I have compiled a list of some famous quotes that may help you to center your focus and strengthen your resolve. Use these to find the good in the world and yourself, and never forget that you are a being of light. Quote number one, Cary Grant. Those who do not share your best interests have cultivated a culture of malignant narcissism. You are constantly bombarded with their false idols and constructs of perfect people living perfect lives. They have weaponized pride and vanity to do their bidding. When these deadly sins start to cloud the recognition of your own flaws and those of their false idols, remember the words of the American actor Cary Grant. Everyone wants to be Cary Grant. Even I want to be Cary Grant. Nothing is ever as good as it seems. Quote number two, Winston Churchill. In this time of intentional distraction and constant virtue signaling from the controlling elite, it is easy to get lost in the narrative. When you lose sight of where your priorities should be, use this observation made by Winston Churchill for guidance. All the great things are simple, and many can be expressed in a single word. Freedom, justice, honor, duty, mercy, hope. Even if the originator was flawed, sound wisdom is still sound wisdom. Quote number three, Willy Wonka. This is a difficult time in history. The elites have created instability and division that creates a climate of fear and dread. When you become overwhelmed by the negativity and seriousness of the state of the world, take the advice of Willy Wonka. It's a lot of nonsense. A little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest man. Never forget to find the enjoyment of living. When times are at their darkest, you may experience a crisis of faith. To find your strength, remember the wisdom imparted to Edmond Dantes by Abbe Faria, the priest from the Count of Monte Cristo. Do not commit the crime for which you now serve the sentence. God sent vengeance is mine. I don't believe in God. It doesn't matter. He believes in you. Quote number five, Cassian Andor. Finally, in this time of duplicity and obfuscation, it is easy to feel hopelessly outnumbered. When that feeling takes over, take the advice of Cassian Andor. Light the place up. Make ten men feel like a hundred. I hope these can help give you inspiration. Be vigilant and keep your faith and resolve. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It helps tremendously. Time is of the essence.